Hi, in this particular video I'm going to introduce the Maytech F405 WMN uh, flight controller that we're going to be using in the build of our AR Wing Pro. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, in this, what I'll do is take a few minutes to sort of talk about why I chose this one for the build, uh, some of the other options that are available through Matech or Matech. I'm still not sure how to say their name properly. And uh, then we'll take a little bit closer look on the desk uh, at exactly what comes in this little package, uh, what it will do for us, and sort of the basics of what a flight controller is and why you might want one on your, uh, on your flying wing. So this will be guided mostly towards uh, beginners who haven't done a lot of building or haven't maybe used uh, a wing style flight controller before. So let's take a look. Um, first, we'll start off on uh, the website, taking a look at what Matek um, provides us in terms of documentation and, and things like that. And then we'll come back and look at it more closely on the desk. All right. So when I was thinking about building the AR Wing Pro flying wing uh, and deciding that I wanted to put a flight controller into it, I just I needed to think about what actually that flight controller was going to need to do for me. And in my case, with this AR Wing Pro, it was going to need to control one motor, two servos, the receiver to be able to connect my remote control system to it, and a GPS unit. And for me, that is all I was going to need to be able to control and manage. Now, I also wanted to be able to, for me anyways, run both sort of avail you know, commonly available uh, flight firmwares, which are iNav um, and ArduPilot. And I wanted to be able to do both of those simply because I, I like to play around with different things and tinker. And so I'm sure that after I build this out, starting with iNav, I, I can see myself wanting to try ArduPilot just because that's something I like to do. That wouldn't be the case for everybody, but that's me. And so when I'm choosing the parts, I like it to match what I like to be able to do. And so the idea of being able to try both of the different flight firmwares is something that I would like to be able to do. And so I want to choose a flight controller that can do that as well. And really, with exception of running ArduPilot, pretty much any flight controller designed for a fixed wing um, aircraft would be able to meet what I want it to be able to meet. With one exception, um, if we take a look at some of these on, <coughs> pardon me, the flight controllers on the screen here, um, we can see that they are labeled with a little bit different numbers. Like for example, this one says 405, F405. The one below it here says F411. And if you take a look down even further, this one here says H743. All of those little numbers refer to the computer chip that's actually on the flight controller that does all of the mathematics and does all of the controlling that we need it to do. And each of those is has a slightly different sort of capability, slightly different power level, ability to, to run the software. And out of all of these, this F411 would not be able to run ArduPilot into the future. It simply doesn't have enough memory on it and not quite enough computing power for things into the future. This F405 has plenty of computing power and memory in order to be able to run both iNav and ArduPilot without any problems whatsoever. And this bottom one here, an H743, has way more power than anything that I would ever need. It is the newest generation of chipsets. It is really, really fast, has huge amounts of memory for what is needed in this case. And in, in the case of this being my very first build, using this kind of a chipset would be overkill. Way more than what would be needed. Now, all of these H73, F411, all of these, they'll all fly a flying wing with no problem. They'll all control it with no issues. Their only real issue is that I would like to also be able to run ArduPilot and 
this one here won't be able to do it so well. And so for that reason, and that reason alone, is I chose to use the F405 as the basis for the flight controller. Now, that's great. That helps you understand why I chose particular this, this style here, this F405 flight controller. But, but why in particular Matek and Matek Sys? Well, that's because of a couple other things that are really important to me. Um, one of them is, this is my first time building a flying wing, so I'd rather things be easier instead of harder. And Matek does a really good job on providing excellent documentation and how-to guides um, for people like me who are building things out for the very first time. And the other thing is, Matek makes really good stuff. Uh, they're durable and, and they basically always work. You're not going to get something that's not going to work right out of the box. And that's something that's really important to me as well. I don't want to be trying to figure something out. I just want it to work. And getting something from Matek really, really increases the chances of that. Now, in terms of the documentation, and this is where it's truly amazing. Um, Matek is unlike any other company in, in terms of the amount of uh, documentation they provide. Some of it is fairly high level, but if you take a look here, of course, just a little bit of photographs, but we also get full spec sheet and a PDF guide that we can download. Now, this PDF guide is really just the layout and the wiring pages here combined. I'll show that to you in just a second. But the layout page here shows you exactly what each of these soldering pads means and is used for, has all of them explained, and everything is just laid out for you super, super clearly. If you go to the next page, it talks about how you can set up the wiring specifically for an airplane, which is what we're going to be doing when we're setting up a, a flying wing. It tells you exactly where to connect the wires for the individual components. It tells you if you're going to put in a GPS unit, what you should connect them to. It shows you if you have the different types of receivers, a Crossfire or an S-Bus or whatever type of receiver you use, shows you exactly how and where to connect it shows you how and where to connect your FPV cameras. It is really, really, really clear. And as somebody who's building for the very first time, this kind of information is invaluable. Now, like I said just a moment ago, on this quick start download PDF, what you get is on one document, those two pages that show all of the pins and what they mean and how to do the connecting and the wiring. So that is one of the main reasons to choose Matexis. You get really good quality product and you get very, very clear information uh, to help you put it together. And even if you're an experienced builder, this is extremely, extremely helpful. So that's why we chose this one. What we'll do now is we'll come back to the desk and we'll take just a little bit more of a close look at the actual hardware itself. Um, and that'll probably wrap up this video. So we'll see you on the desk.